A new research ship being built by the Scripps Institution of Oceanography will be more than meets the eye. ABC 10 News meteorologist Leah Pizzetti shows us how it will both help science and the environment. A key part of ocean research is actually getting out into the water and a new ship will not only continue to make that happen, but its eco-friendly design will be a first of its kind. Out on the water. Scripps Institution of Oceanography researchers study everything. We support things like geophysical surveys that look deep into the interior of the Earth. We do seafloor mapping so that we can understand the seabed habitats. Bruce Applegate says this ship, the Sproul, has been a key part of that research for 42 years, but now it's being replaced. A brand new research vessel is being designed and it will be more than just new, it's improved. We are currently on track to be the first of its kind vessel in the United States that will be a zero emission capable vessel operating offshore. A step toward fixing a big picture problem. One of the biggest sources of air pollution in Southern California comes from ships. The company Gloston has been selected to design and build the new ship, which will run on hydrogen, helping reduce CO2 emissions. We really feel that there's a moral imperative for us to operate ships in the cleanest possible way. So we want to cut down on those criteria emissions so that we don't contribute to human health problems in, in Southern California. It's a $35 million project that won't be done for another four and a half years. Applegate says the ship will not only help continue important research across all UC schools, but pave the way for a new future on the water. We're at the forefront of, of making those solutions, testing them, and then we bring those solutions, what we've learned to the rest of the economy. So then that'll turn into the products of tomorrow. Leah Pizzetti, ABC 10 News. Once completed, the San Diego Bay ship will be able to support scientists at sea for 10 days at a time.